Writing a perfect cadence, there are certain rules you need to follow. First of all, you need to know that a perfect cadence is from chord 5 to chord 1. This is in C major, so chord 1 in C major would have C, E and G. Chord 5 will have G, B and D. Now writing a four part cadence, we're going to need four notes, so we double the root on each of these chords. So the root note being the bottom note of the chord. Now the rules that you have first of all is that in the bass part we need to have the root notes. So that's your first rule. Number one, bass note is the root. And at this stage you can go up or down. Um, I've chosen to go down and we'll talk about that in a minute. The second rule that you have is same note, same part. So when you have these two notes, we've put a C, the root note in the bass. Now if you have a look at the two chords, we'll see that there are two Gs. So we're going to put the Gs in the same part. And for this example, I'm going to use these Gs in the soprano part and that will cancel those. Third rule is to move as little as possible as little as possible and one of the things that you need to do when you're moving as little as possible is that you actually need to have the leading note to the tonic. So the leading note is your seventh of your scale going to the tonic which is the eighth note of your scale so if we have a look in here this would be B to C so we need to have in one of the parts we need to have B going to the C then the last two if we cancel our B and C you'll see that we have a D and an E left so we have a D to E. So if we play that, that's chord 5 to chord 1 with that perfect cadence. Now you may find that there are some other things where if you are given the top part, a couple of things you do need to be very wary of is that you must not have more than an octave no more than an octave between parts except you can between the, oct the tenor and the bass between tenor and bass that would be fine all right so this is an octave but if we chose to put this further than an octave apart that would be fine but between here, and this is a common mistake, between the alto and the tenor, you must have no more than an octave between any of those parts. So you need to remember that.